later when the Lakers take on the Hawks, who have the first round pick in Zachary Resush. I'm giving up his betterment of the team. There's Trey Jemison. So it's been more than push ups. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Here's your man, Jay Huff, former Virginia Cavalier, rolls it in. Wahoo Wah, Jay Huff, who forced the G League affiliate and caught him a T code in the G. That's what they're talking about with Jay Huff, that he's 20 points for Grand Rapids. Quick hands from Pippen on the cross, drops it. Jemison has all four for Memphis. And nice touch by Jemison. 91 to 86 Sunday. All kinds of space. Their first game, I believe, in Utah. But he's found that touch here in Vegas. Yeah, 40 points through two games. Look at Hoff, space on the floor. He wears that. I mean, again, the 45th pick in the draft, having a 45-point game as he goes off the bounce, unable to get that one to go. But you got a interview by Shaq and just went and took straight all from the standpoint that he was talking to Shaquille O'Neal as he's able to get the friendly. We got the rebound here. Pippen leads the break. He's got Jerome riding shotgun. Pippen all the way to the hole. Good start for the Grizzlies. And just a crap. Started 16 games for the Grizzlies last year. Here's De Silva. Tees up his first look and knocks it down. Nice job by Jet here with them. Is checking out their son Jet playing in his second summer league. Got some action last year. On the kick to Jemison. Ooh. Push or a floater, Corey? You make the call. Uh, he missed it, so it was a floater. <laughs> but he did a great job with that second. And the second chance points. Oh, right down Main Street. Now, one thing's for certain. I'm not sure. Gets a block on the other side. It's the Huff Show here in the first quarter. Three on two. Howard lays it in. Great job by Cole. I'm not going to ask, or we're not going to ask. Ja and Dez to slow down and playing in Memphis to wait for Zach Eady as Pippen. So you absolutely don't want him slowing down, waiting on Eden. Howard hits the three from the corner. A nice extra feed from Huff and the Magic rolling now. With the Charlotte Bobcats. Yeah. What do you know about that? With the Bobcats, those vintage uniforms. Yeah. With the orange and the purple yeah. in the field. That's a three-point. Are you with any geography in the state of North Carolina? They're nowhere near each other. <laughs> Correct. Prices have gone up. It was new last year, so we summer league we might have got a better deal. Put back is there for Jared Rowe. Like that. Waiting yeah, after defensively. Pippen recovers, five to shoot. Pippen takes it all the way and drops it in. But Drew, do you see the eyes? The entire gets to the basket, making it look easy. Bryson Williams getting his first summer league action this season. Charlie Brown Jr. <laughs> knocks down the three. It's fine from Isaiah Miller getting into the painted area off the turnover. Hey. Teo Maladon on the floor gets the whistle. Keep shooting. This was a team that was bogged down in the seven-game playoff series against the Cleveland Cavaliers, lost in games. Guys like the Silva, guys like Chet Howard, they can make an impression on Jamal Mosley, who's sitting sidelines right now watching that forward. Of course, Marcus Smart being in the fold where they didn't have him two seasons ago where they were the two-seed in the West. Jackson with the lefty finish plus the earlier. That shows you how important things are right now for the Charlotte Hornets continuing in his development. Yeah, he was a, a finalist for Rookie of the Year. Yeah. Things that have never been done in the history, the 78-year history of this game. I don't really think it was as close as you thought it was. Not, not by the... 7-35, fifth in the East. They lost to Cleveland in seven games. Home team won all seven games of that series. Now some guys trying to stick... There's Myron Gardner. Now Jared Roden. Six to shoot. Roden pulls up. Professional score. Absolutely getting to his... Pepper screen. They got the mismatch he likes. Kicks it out. Miller for three. Strong. Leaves it a little short. Coming the other way. Here's your boy, Xavier Moon, the king of Vegas. Hey. Out to Gardner on the baseline. Tempo back. Jamison over the top oh, of Huff yeah. spins it in. Now, someone hit that basketball. That should have been a... Freddy. Yeah, we're not playing FIBA here. No, we're not. And that's somewhere else. You can touch it when it's on the cylinder. Moon to Huff, taking advantage. Texas Longhorn in the game for Memphis now. Giroux with a little space, hits the triple. How do you think this back college basketball season? Howard flying around the screen, missed the triple. Jemison boards it. Small thing, um, you know, you, you don't take a long two. You got to make sure you get back behind the three. Miller with a soft touch. It's out here. Not just trying out for the club they're wearing on their jersey, but all 30 teams. Right back at you, Roden from the mid-range. Miller, the offensive rebound. That was Jemison's first miss. 
three-pointer goes. Man, the Grizzlies are about being selfish. You know, you draw two to you, get an open shot. It's a hustle play right there off an offensive rebound. Timmy Allen knocks down a three. Got 11 assists. Hated watching what happened last year with the injuries and everything that happened, but I know you're poised for a big season coming up. Yeah, there's another one right there. there Scotty Pippen, the program was huge for us, has always been huge for us, but especially last year, just that development's always at the core is what we talk about. Uh, and Summer League's the best time to put on display. Obviously, you know, big moment in his, you know, return to play. Obviously, it's just been pouring into his body work, working on his strength, you know, everything with his shoulder surge. I think his three-point shot's coming along. I think his offensive rebounding, you know, he, he doesn't have any in this game so far, but it's something we've been stressing with him. You know, growing that's what's going to be for him next year, knowing that he's got unlimited opportunity on the offensive side with his growth. But defense is setting the tone for his, uh, his role next year. Yeah, and A. Jackson going into the season. Uh, th this kid's hungry to just grow uh, individually, but at the end of the day, he knows it's all about winning and doing whatever it takes for, for the team. But bonus is it to be able to get him game minutes so where now when you get everyone back it's not new to him to be able to fit him into the system yeah he kick out the shooters he's got a nice little touch in there when he's on balance but he sets a tone for us defensively and that's why you know first three games out here in vegas we he needed to in the middle of an answer i was i was pretty good taylor thanks for doing this. thanks a lot guys we got a absolutely it's a, it's a one game suspension what do you think about that taylor <laughs> you right now it's all about <laughs> Well, Orlando headed into halftime. However, 8.9 gives you more than enough time to get a quality to opportunity and rushing it right now, much more so for the Grizzlies here in this first half. With Scottie Pippen Sr. as the first year of the ring as we see Jay Huff get to the rim and finish. Understand that rookies, even if you're on the NBA contract, you don't get paid till November 15th. So I'm taking the brand. This summer, Grizzlies are tremendous. Lead is 15 early third. Jay Huff out to Jarrett Culver for three. And G'd off the top. Kind of a quiet first half for him with five points. But look at this matchup. You've got Scotty Pippen Jr. posting up Tristan De Silva. Scotty at six, maybe maybe six one, with a six nine guy guarding. Positionless basketball That's at right. his finest. Modern NBA. Or <laughs> telling you who the 2004 Rookie of the Year, I mean, uh, for number one pick was. That is true. Yeah, see, it's true. Don't act like Dave doesn't give away answers. Watching his big brother out here. There's Jet Howard. Jet with two T's. Knocks down the three. Oh, I like that. Some playing time for the big club this I year? I do. I do. I really do. His ability to shoot the basketball. And again, it's different when you're a rookie. G.G. Jackson, of course, crashing the board the basketball. And, and just take away a little bit of that pressure from Paolo Bancaro, from Fonz Walker. Those guys and open up the floor for them to be able to the second year becoming and one of the better players in the Eastern Conference. They go out, they add KCP in the offseason. Mm -hmm. Seems like they're ready to contend sooner rather than later. It's at the Jason Tatum Elite Camp, and Paolo, we, we talked a lot about their roster makeup and how excited he is for what the Magic in the game out. The head coach of the Orlando Magic from the sideline, and his calling card is what they do defensively. 97. The San Antonio Spurs combined with the Philadelphia 76ers. Let me run off some names on that time. And people don't realize how legendary that was. You've got both Greg Popovich and Larry Brown combining. Uh-oh. Whoa. Corey. 97, I believe we were in Salt Lake City in Utah. Look at how far this summer league has come from that time. Tell me a little bit just about your camp was competitive and, and you see in spurts, you know, all the different weapons uh, that have come off the, off the bench. Jay Huff just threw one. Tristan De Silva joining you. Another long athletic wing with the ability to play multiple positions. That seems to be this year with the size and athleticism at every position. Lucas Williamson hits the triple for Memphis, keeping Orlando at bay back. They have what could be the best point forward in the game. You do not want to take the ball out of his hands. Charlie Brown Jr. draws the foul. And Boston in that mix. Drew Holiday, and again, Drew Holiday is going to win that battle because I think, and I hate to say this to you with your ties to the gave away games, they pr probably should have only lost one game, the one game to the Mavericks in the finals, and, or a clean sweep, 16 and 0. There's Trist. Lead was as large as 19 for the Grizzlies. De Silva has contributed too as well. He's got now 11 points. Tristan De Silva. You do that. No. Safety first. That's why Melo did it. Don't want to shoot that, hurt that shooting hand. G.G. Jackson in a crowd. Doesn't matter. Lefty shoots it. And we got air balls on both sides <laughs> of the floor. But this should be an easy one. Here comes Roden. Oh. Oh. Missed the dunk, but was fouled by the Grizzlies here in the second half. But we talked about it at the end of the, end of the second quarter. 
There's so um, oh, the, you know what? That's a great point. Thank you. <laughs> Normally, I won't give you that much credit. Off of Howard, did only four of the 30 make it to the playoffs. GG Jackson, like a running back, straight through the lane. People would recognize him as because there is an H in the name, correct? Yeah, yeah. it looks like Theo, yeah. but he's friend. Their leading scorer. Howard turns the corner, matched up with Pember, floats it, did not get the roll, wrote in there on the cleanup, and that'll count. Not as antsy. Um, familiar with the coaches and my teammates. So just calming down. Yeah. Good luck in the court. It's been great to me and my family. Uh, you know, learning the game and all type of nuances. Help him to this point. Well, I mean, his passion has always been, you know, basketball. He's loved this since day one. And, you know, he's been. A yeah. Now that's her baby. We we know about his baby. You look at him, of course, as a player having been through that. But how is Janine now having the opportunity to watch her son? When I was the head coach there. You know, she treat all those young men like they're her kids, and because she really care about people. It is amazing, you know, great people, you know, everyone has, you know, different strengths and, you know, more importantly, everyone enjoy. I love you back, family. Yes, man. Yeah. <laughs> Jawad, best of luck, man. Thank you, man. Big news. Pleasure meeting you. Big yeah. in 1994. And, um... I think he was happier to see his son be picked than even he was. Just away from a double-double. This lead has opened back up to 11. After Orlando tied it. Howard on the skip. Culver a little hitch in the shot. Fourth quarter. A 13-0 run in the last three minutes and change. To reestablish his 13-point lead. Culver goes flying to the rack and mid Magic. No, sir. Oh! He might have had 45 assists in a the game. There's Tristan. The Cliff used to be one of the best speakers. The NBA PA sends around. De Silva, 18th overall pick this year. He's got 14 points in this one. Moon, nice find. Oh, on the fin. Pippen Jr. too strong. Jemison's got the offensive rebound. Giroux left alone. Hits the three. That's been the answer. Played two years of college, so he was a early entry into college. De Silva. Backdoor cut, Culver, no one feed, Hoff for now, another now, reverse. Did you just see it? Jackson trying to spring free. Goes back to Pippen. He's been a man possessed in the fourth. Oh, the touch. Shooter's touch. The Magic need points in a hurry. That'll help from Tristan De Silva. That was the one thing he said we could ask him, but they're not going to do that. Although he has spent a fair amount of time on the floor. Look at Huff stroking it. Yep. Culver kicks it to the corner. Three-pointer from Moon is good. I told three you. Three-point game. Missed an opportunity to take that three when Jemison backed up early in the possession. Pippen hits them both. At the buzzer, and that's all she wrote. The Memphis Grizzlies. So four 3-0 teams here in Vegas, just five remaining.